All right. How's it going, YouTube? Today, I'm going to show you from my studio how how to paint flowers. At least how I paint flowers. And we're going to be doing some uh, some uh, small roses. So, let's go. I like to start out by uh, first doing an outline of the the background. So I assume it's the table or something of the similar. And I'm gonna create a little little fancy boss. Okay, maybe a glass or something like that. The way I do it is uh, I like to keep it uh, simple because I believe you you have a more um, more room to play with and, and, and I mean depending on what type of painting you're trying to do but but uh, if this if what I do is it's your cup of tea um, I would keep it simple uh, there's more it's more open I guess. I like to, uh, I'm very influenced by the impression, so, so a lot of my work has uh, some uh, spontaneity, I guess, it's, I don't even know if that's a word, <laughs> I keep using that word, uh, but spontaneous, I guess, you know, my, my work is very uh, bold brushwork, spontaneous, I hope, that's okay. I think I better get it. Just a second. Hi, honey. I'm uh, recording a, a, a video on, on YouTube. <laughs> I'll call you right now, okay? But okay. Well, sorry about that.
One way that I like to also do uh, when I'm painting to not get overwhelmed with what's next is that um, I try to, as, as you can see here, just kind of take it piece by piece, um, kind of touch the whole painting piece by piece, and not necessarily um, just focus on an area. For example, uh, um, not just focus on a rose or, or a flower, or you know, or, or on the on the on the glass right here. Not just not not just fully focus there, where you dismiss the other areas, especially because. Um, when you're painting this this type of uh, uh, abstract, I guess, more impressionistic type of first work, um, you are you may be using this this green right here and, and place it down here, you know, and so you wanna you wanna keep the whole thing open. So there it is. Um, that's pretty much it. You know, I, as I mentioned to you, try to keep it very simple, and and then you can you can uh, always retouch where you feel you need to with uh, darker tones or or lighter. But uh, this is how I paint flowers and. It's, uh, it's worked for me. I love it. Um, uh, as I mentioned, I'm very influenced with the impressionist, you know, uh, and and of course Manet. Manet was uh, very very good at that. Also painting florals and I mean, he did wonderful portraits too. So I think somehow florals and portraits are. Uh, <laughs> I'm in the same ballpark. <laughs> I guess if you can, if you can uh, master <laughs> sorrow, you can master portrait. You'll be fine. So there we have it.
Thank you so much and until next time.